this is what I'm using for a mill um, concrete mixer for right now this is my charge it's just nuts and rod and some big steel heavy steel balls some incinerated chips so uh, let's load this thing up and see what it looks like while it's working okay I've got the uh, I've got the grinding medium and I've got the uh, chips inside the uh, cement mixer gonna add some water I really don't want to add too much because it just creates more uh, water that I have to uh, let settle before I can do anything with it. But uh, we put a minimum amount of water in and uh, let me get this thing plugged up and on and we'll see what it looks like when it's spinning. adjust this at a steeper tilt this way to make it uh, to make it mill again so it's just something I have to really be close by it won't take but about an hour and uh, it'll just start sliding and, and not not really moving Yeah, I'm going to get a ball charge from Legend Incorporated. They have a 20 pound ball charge, uh, 10 pounds 1 inch, 10 pounds 1 and a quarter inch, and uh, just replace the rods and the, the nuts and stuff and just keep the larger balls and the... Uh, See if that doesn't do any better. Okay, we've gotten to the uh, stage where the material is ground up pretty fine and the, the metal has all but stopped the material from rotating in the drum. So now it needs to be adjusted to keep it moving so it'll pulverize the very last little bit. And I'm going to move this up a little. Everything rolling again.
letting it bust up as much of that chip material as it can. I'll be back when it's ready to empty. Okay, we're uh, we're taking our grinding material out. I've already dumped uh, the uh, really thick water and ash out and now I'm just pretty much going through here and taking out the uh, pieces of steel basically just going through it reaching in filling around these big heavy balls that I think does most of the work Let's see if we can speed this up a little. Okay, the uh, the grinding medium has been removed. <coughs> it's just some big heavy chunks of steel. And the material that's left behind is this stuff and it's mostly metal you see a lot of chips that are intact they didn't incinerate all the way through that's okay I've got a piece of expanded metal that I used to uh, to sieve this material through it's a classifying it all the smaller stuff that can go through goes back to the mill all the large stuff like this stuff here it'll go back and be incinerated again it's been over about two hours, just a little over two hours. Load it back up. Moving again. Now this uh, this machine it came from Harbor Freight. Uh, I got the uh, mixer for about $150. It's not really a whole lot considering uh, what it does. Now this is the material. This is the really coarse material that comes out of it. It's mostly metal. But it does have some chips that needs to be incinerated again. All the good stuff is in this tub. Now this tub was actually heaping full earlier today. This is what I've ran through uh, in about six hours. 